The wedding is at the top. You go over the top, is the wedding, and then you just scream it. <laughs> so even if you make plans, you never think you're really ready for Hello everyone, we're the Heart Dogs. I'm Janoka. I'm Anthony. And welcome back to our channel where we like to discuss fi family, finances, and fitness. And this is the Heart Tremony. So uh, the topic for today is how to get on the same page financially, especially especially when your views of money differ. So uh, I'm a huge Dave Ramsey fan. If you don't know, he's the uh, old white guy who uh, just doesn't believe in debt. Um, not, I'm obviously not an old white guy. I'm not old. <laughs> I'm not white. Um, but he keeps it real, and he always talks about just getting out of debt and staying away from debt. Um, and that's kind of how our financial journey kind of got started. Right. So I was gifted this book, his book, years ago by my dad. Um, <laughs> read maybe four chapters, put it down, and then Tony picked it back up 2016. And we did his class. Now, I'm not against Dave Ramsey. I'm just... Um, so what are... I like to take things from different areas. I don't think it's a, his way is the only way. That's the difference. And I don't think his way is the only way. I think his way is the right way. One of the right ways. Okay. But big thing, like, so... In regards to finances, you have to be really honest. I mean, some people don't combine their finances. For us, we do. That's what works for us. We combine our finances. Um, but like one of his steps is to, if you have a certain amount of money in your savings, just throw it at the debt. And I was like, yeah, no. Like, <laughs> we work for the savings. We got this money. There's no way I'm going to throw all this money towards debt. It's just a mental thing. It and is. He, that's all it is. It's mental, yeah. And so he's like, yeah, let's just throw it. Just do it. I'm like, mm. It's kind of like uh, bungee jumping. What? You're not Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like bungee jumping. You just got just to gotta close your eyes no, and no, do no, it. No, no, no. It's not the same. So the compromise we made was that we took, I don't even think it was 50%, but we took a certain amount that we both agreed like, okay, we'll throw this amount towards that at the very beginning. That's something that we kind of... But I think even before that... In order to kind of get on the same page about finances, you got to set goals. So right. you have to have some sort of end goal in mind. If your end goal is to buy a house, your end goal is to get out of debt. If your end goal is to pay off credit cards, pay off credit cards, or finance your child's education, you got to have that end goal in mind. And that's kind of what we started. We said our end goal in mind was to get out of debt, no matter how we do it. That's the end goal, and we put a kind of a timeline on that. And we said, well, we might our views might be a little different, but. He's like, that's the end goal. We got to figure that out. Our views be different. So other part of it is Tony is like, okay, we have this goal. This is what we're working towards. Let's keep chopping away at it. We're going to go, go, go. And I'm like, well, I want to enjoy life while I'm doing this. And he's just more of like, if you get this done quicker, you'll be able to enjoy life even more. Kind of like a band-aid. You just got to rip it off. But go for me, I couldn't, I couldn't live my life that way. You're just like... I mean, for some people, they can, and that works fine. Like, they're like, we have this goal, this is what mm -hmm. we're gonna do, it doesn't matter, nothing's gonna get in the way. And that's kind of what Tony was, but my feeling was I still wanted to travel and do other things and enjoy other things. So, the way we compromised was I went on all the trips. <laughs> all of them. It wasn't that many. Okay. I went to Trinidad, and then I went on a girls' trip. All right, we're gonna sit here Two and trips. outline all your trips. <laughs> But that wasn't, that was like a discussion. It was more along the lines of, this is what I want to do. We're still working towards it. We're still hopefully meeting the goal that we set. We are meeting the goal we set in mind and the date that we set in mind. Mm -hmm. Granted, maybe we could have finished one or two months earlier if we didn't, if I didn't do that trip. But for me, I was willing to push those, you know, so what two was, months So what was back. the compromise there? Well... The compromise was, it was a way that we figured out that we could have a discussion about things. So how do you... That wasn't much of a compromise. There was no compromise. Well, some things like that, it's like, you can't tell a person, like, no, you can't go, or no, you can't do it. So it was a compromise. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a compromise. That's it. Like, it wasn't a compromise. That's There fine. you go. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> so when you hit those, when you hit your, those financial roadblocks, how do you kind of get back on track? Because I felt like I was never off track. You see, for you, the way you are going, the way we are going towards it is just like straight. For me, I'm just taking a little, but I'm still getting there. So even even with those roadblocks, there are definitely ways to kind of stay on track uh, financially. 
which is okay so we have we share a budget app that we check it daily <laughs> so that budget app is extremely important for us to kind of stay on the same page and know what our goals are and know how much we have to spend right we also i call it allowances tony don't, doesn't like to call it oh that. i hate the word allowances but each month a certain amount we get for our personal money to spend on whatever we like. So we have a, we have a, obviously we have a joint checking account where everything comes from, all bills, all loans, all That's everything, <laughs> all everything comes from that one account. And we do have separate accounts where you could kind of spend whatever you want. She uses it to spend on, um, <laughs> what type of things do you buy? I usually just take from the big account. <laughs> you see? Part of the not being. Oh, on when the I'm pitch, traveling. No, when I'm traveling, that's when I use my personal account. Oh yeah, yeah when you travel, you go to brunch with your friends and stuff. Or when I have people in town, we go to the bars, and that comes out of our personal account because it has nothing to do. But if we're together, we can take it out of the main account. So I try to do a lot together. Yeah, that's that's a good uh, family hack right there. Exactly. Bring your significant other to go out so you can <laughs> spend the family money. What else do you do to keep on the same page? Um... The budget. Budget is important. Discussions, I guess. If oh, it, our budget meetings are very important, oh, too. Oh, yeah. We do have budget meetings slash family meetings. Where we kind of not even just talk about finances, just talk about what's happening at work, what are some goals. What's um, coming up for the, like, the holiday season is coming up. Holidays like coming that. up. So we kind of go over what's going to happen over the next month. So October would be, we have, like, some community service coming up. And then we would make sure that's on the calendar for both of us. Um, right. And those meetings are just more about finances, but it's also about just overall family thing oriented things. What else do we do to stay on track? Um, I had Tony sign a contract. <laughs> Two um, years ago, I signed a, a contract. When we started our journey, the contract just basically said that if a Beyonce concert comes up, we have to go. So that was that was good. That and keeps us on track. It, I guess it does. <laughs> if I break it, you could sue me. I don't know. But last concert came up. We went to it. No problems. No questions asked. Because it was in the budget. IT And in the contract. IT <laughs> in the budget. Uh, what else we do to stay on the, stay on the same page? Um, for our debt tracking goal, we have a physical thermometer that we kind of check yeah. off every time we hit like a different percentage. So um, 10%, yeah, like 20%, we, all, we check it off and we walk past it every day. Yeah. So and we kind of monitor that on a... And even just in regards to the budget, if something comes up in it that we one of us don't know what it is, we're just like, hey, what's this whatever from Amazon? It's like, oh, that's that. All right, know where to put it kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so those are the times that our, those are some of the ways we kind of keep on the same page financially uh, just to make sure we're monitoring um, what's yeah. happening and we know where we're going in our future financial goals. And we both, it's just a matter of having, we both have this one goal. Our goal is paying off debt by a certain time. And we're just working towards it. We, as long as we get there. <laughs> you can walk, skip, jump, swim. Right. right. As long as we get there, then we're all good. Let us know some of the ways that you work towards your financial goals. Whatever it may be, writing it down, budgeting, whatever. And if you're in a relationship, how do you keep the other person motivated or on track? Keeping each other you? accountable. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Come back another time. Peace. <laughs>